inside 50. Made it tough. McDougal bounces nicely. He can get a step away. He drives it home in style. After footy, I did a lot of business courses and, and studied quite a bit. And, and also went into some footy coaching and some mentoring of young footy players. Playing footy and playing AFL and Waffle, it's, it's given me a great insight into the industry. A lot of the same recruiters and same people are still involved. So it's, it's been a great transition moving into player management. Also bringing young talent on board is, is part of my role and working on contracts, um, getting sponsorship for the players and, and just dealing with whatever's necessary on the day. Everyone's quite unique in, in what, they, what they need and what they're up to, so yeah, it's, it's enjoyable. We've got a great list of players up at the Gold Coast, like Jager Amir and Dave Swallow and Harley Bunnell, Brandon Matera, so we've got a, a big group of players, not just in Perth. Um, we've got 12 at West Coast and nine at Frio, so it's quite a good list here as well. Um, you build that friendship with, with the players and that loyalty, so it does come across as a enjoyable enjoyable learning experience as well. Two, one, yep. The boys with their running, that's quite important, especially the young kids need to run a really good 3K time trial and, and the beep test, all that stuff, their fitness has to be right up because coming in to a pre-season nowadays is just so much running involved um, and the speed of the game has just increased dramatically. So the boys and the bodies are obviously not as huge as they sort of were 10 years ago, but the speed is, is a lot faster. As the siren goes, it's Subiaco. Scenes of absolute jubilation. The young guys that we had in that team were very talented and took on a couple of the, um, the players here as well. So like Yaron and, and Waters and DeLuca and those guys really stood up on the day and, and it was just a fantastic thing to be a part of and experience. Um, and yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed it being at Subi and yeah, it was great. Number 21, Andrew McDougall. Yeah, hopefully this season looking to do some coaching and to get involved and help bring my experience back to a few of the younger players, potentially the Colts or the, uh, or the seniors, and just lend uh, my experience wherever I can. Big lead, big bang, big goal of I think um, everyone that gets drafted from 1 to 100 is under pressure. Um, even you know, if you miss the first draft and you become a rookie, you're under pressure because you've only got a one-year contract. We've got a few players recently over the last couple of years have done well coming off rookie lists and getting extensions and, and going that way about it. Um, but I think everyone, the boys that move into state, I experienced that myself, living in Melbourne for a few years and, and being an early draft pick at West Coast here. Uh, there's all different pressures, so I think everyone's under a different type of pressure, um, whether they play straight away and they're expected to keep playing or going through injuries and adjusting to the, the lifestyle of an AFL player is a big jump from waffle level or school footy. So the kids um, dealing with that, I've been through it, so I, I hope I can relate to them and give them the best advice possible. He is making a massive statement, this young man, West Coast. Got another one.